Hello, it's Dr. Stephanie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, summer is one of my favorite seasons and so I'm loving being outside. I am a life coach and a physician and if you have not listened to any of my YouTube videos, I just like to give motivation, inspiration, and I like to give information that I have learned that has helped me. So what I really wanted to talk about today, as I talked about summer is one of my favorite seasons, is summer self-care tips. So I think summertime is a time when a lot of us um, start to delve into our self-care. We plan those vacations, we take time off from work, we get outside, we do fun stuff. We start to, you know, think more about our personal grooming and get our mani-pedi scheduled. And so I think it's a great time for us to focus on self-care. And when I say focus on self-care, I mean radical self-care. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Essence has declared the year 2022, the year of radical self-care. And I could not agree more. I feel that as women and as um, those of us who are women of color, there is so much going on that our self-care needs to be radical because my definition of self-care is if you think about yourself as a vessel or as a cup, all of the things that we do, we pour out, that's our doing. And the self-care part of it is our being and that's how we refill our cup. So we do so much at our jobs, in our families, in our communities, in our organizations. Uh, we're constantly pouring out. And so self-care needs to be pouring into us and filling that cup and balancing some of that doing with just being. And what better time to just be than in the summertime? The other thing that I believe about self-care is that it is uh, synonymous with soul care. So it's not just about the, the vacations and the pools and the manis and petties, which is all phenomenal, but it's also about something that's a little bit deeper, kind of going into that soul care. So I have four tips that I'm going to share with you over this next four videos. And the first one is that if there is anything that you are not doing to pour back into yourself, because self-care is not selfish, self-care is self-preservation, then there's probably a reason why you're not doing it. If it's not exercising, if it's not eating healthy, if it's not getting the proper amount of sleep, if it's not resting, there is a reason that you are not doing that thing that you need to keep yourself full. And as a core energy coach, I believe that there are four core energy blocks that block us from doing things when we know that we should be doing them and we kind of want to do them, they're on our goal list, but we're not doing them. It's because of four energy blocks, internal energy blocks. There can also be external blocks, but we're gonna focus on the internal ones. So the one I'm gonna talk about today is self-love. Self-care starts with self-love. And sometimes the reason that we're not completely filling our cup and pouring back into ourselves is because our self-love is just not where it needs to be. There's some sort of a block there. Um, a lot of times we think, you know, from a, from a logical, from a mental perspective, of course we love ourselves, of course we do. But if we dig a little bit deeper into a soul perspective, how is that manifesting? One of the, um, I just did a podcast interview and one of the scriptures that the um, podcast interviewer used was, um, love the Lord thy God, uh, and then this is the first commandment. And the second commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. And loving your neighbor as yourself means that you have to love yourself first, right? So you'll know how to love your neighbor, which means that loving yourself and putting yourself first before others is not a sin. It's actually completely necessary. And it's what God commanded, that we put ourselves first after God. So we put God first, then we put ourselves first, and then we can love on those around us. And so that self-love piece, sometimes we get it twisted. We think that it's more important for us to love on other people. We think it's more important for us to love on our neighbors than it is to love on ourselves. But if we don't love on ourselves, how are we going to know to love on our neighbors? And how will we have the energy to love on our neighbors? So that self-love piece, really taking a look to see do I truly believe that I deserve to be loved first and best 
right? We treat, we show the world how to treat us by how we treat ourselves. So how we love ourselves shows other people how to love us. So that's also a reflection of how we're loving ourselves. So if other people are not loving us in the way that we want to be loved, look at how you're loving yourself. Are you really making yourself a priority? Are you really taking that time and investing in yourself, whether that's monetarily, time, energy, whatever resources are you investing in you? And are there some things that you don't love about yourself? Because let's be honest, we're human. And there are things that we don't always love about ourselves. This middle aged body, sometimes I don't love that about myself. And I have to really get real with myself and realize, okay, this middle aged body may not be exactly what I want it to be, but A, I have the power to make the changes that I want to make, and B, I love it because it is getting me around and it is allowing me to do the things that I'm supposed to do. It's the vehicle for which I live out this life on earth and I'm able to fulfill my purpose. And I am so grateful and thankful. And I love this body because of that. You know, I love it with all of its imperfections. And yet I work on it at the same time. So two things can be true at once, right? You can be perfectly in love with who you are now, yet be striving to be your future self and who you're meant to become. Both of those things can be possible at the same time. So self-love is the first self-care tip that I have, right? So think about how you're gonna show yourself some love. Kind of take inventory. Where's your self-love meter? Have you been loving yourself the way that you would want other people to love you? Um, if not, why not? and uh, take a take a self-assessment and then what are some ways that you can change that so that you can get to that level of radical self-care all right so that's my summer self-care tip uh and re regarding self-love take care for now see you next time